What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back, John. It's your boy Jared. Yo, we got another one that's requesting a man that makes 100K. Now, the sad part is you're seeing more and more of these women say this shit. Now, um, yeah. Yeah, see what this shit look like. Let's let's see what hot mess we about to hear. Someone's here. Hi. Hello. Hey. Um, oh, someone's here. Hi. Hello. Hey. hey. Hello. You ready? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, and you got perfect light. Okay, <laughs> come through ready. I was getting ready for you, Kendra. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Your name is Jessica? Yes. Okay, Jessica. I don't got to say anything to you about the light. I, I appreciate it. Jessica, where are you calling me from? I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Is that where you live? Yes. ACL. How old are you? Another woman that can't find a man in Atlanta. Hmm. So if you can't find a man in Atlanta, yet you're on a dating show, and you're talking about that you want to find a man that's making 100K, and you can't find one that makes one in Atlanta, that's going to take you serious. Ma'am. Have you looked at yourself? Who are you? I'm 32. 32, what you do for a living? I am in real estate, so I'm not a real estate agent, but I work for a builder, so I'm a builder's agent. So you're in real estate, but you're not a real estate agent, but you work for a company, so that means you're a real estate. <sighs> Ma'am, you do paperwork at this point. How about that? You do paper fuck. You do fucking paperwork. Good lord, y'all make yourself sound unimportant. Oh, shut up. So you're a builder's agent? Yes. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. Cancer. Do you have any children? I don't. No kids. Have you ever been married? Yes, I have been married. I'm divorced. You're divorced. When did you get divorced? In 2020. Two. We separated in 2021, and the divorce was finalized in 22. Okay. All right. So we got Jessica Atlanta, 32, cancer, works in real estate as a builder agent. No kids, divorce. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? I am looking for a black man. That's my strong preference. <laughs> um, I hate to sound like one of those girls, but I'm five nine, so I definitely know that like a guy being shorter than me is a deal breaker. So I'd say five ten and up. Okay. Um, somebody who's emotionally available, a hardworking man, um, something definitely somebody that's looking for something serious. So any looking for ca something casual or short term is a no for me. I would like to get married again. Um, okay, so you're looking for somebody that's serious, and you look for all that shit. Okay, cool. But let's focus on the fact of you were married, you separated in 2021, now you got divorced in 2022. Why is it that two years later that you're now looking for another man to marry? Hmm. I think I'm feeling, I think I'm getting Tia Mowry vibes from this woman. I graduated from my divorce, now I'm looking for somebody else. Um, so a man who's open to marriage and maybe open to having a child. Okay. Um, we're nosy. You don't really have to answer, but why did you get divorced? Um, my ex-husband and I met and we got married like five months after we met when I was like 20. Who the fuck just gets married after five months? What the hell? That means your ass didn't fucking take no fucking time to damn vet this dude or him to vet you, in fact. The fuck? seven and we just were not a fit for each other so we divorced like outside of court we're cordial no issues there at all we just we were not the right fit so okay. uh, so hold up now i didn't see the damn dog behind you so you a dog mom cool so y'all got married after five months the fuck so you got married outside of court, y'all cordial, but y'all were not a perfect fit. Why the hell do you get married at damn after five months? Something don't seem too tight about that one. And I'm young and I'm saying that shit. <laughs> the fuck? Um, what's that? Your dog in the background? Yeah. 
Okay. I have two golden retrievers. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are your deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers would be cigarette smokers. Um, I'm okay with a man. Who the hell is that? What the fuck? Hold up. <laughs> this nigga walked, walked through the camera like, oh, yeah, I own this bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? That's my cousin. Why the fuck your cousin at your house like this? Like, this man just literally walked in front of the camera and everything. We, Boy, you know what? Fucking I ain't gonna start. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah. I got distracted. Okay. Okay. Where are your drill breakers again? Um, liars. A man who's shorter than me. Um, I'm okay with a guy having children if, as long as he takes care of his kids. So if he's like uh, an absent father, I wouldn't. That would be a deal breaker for me. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, what about looks? Should you look a certain way? <sighs> Height really is important to me. Um, I would like somebody who cares about being active, like working out is something that I like to do. So some health conscious is important. Um, other than that, I'm just big on vibes and chemistry, so. Okay. And what about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um, I would say $100,000 or more would be ideal. Okay, 100K or more. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. Okay. All right, we see you, Mama. Okay, all right. So we got Jessica. Should he be in Atlanta? I'm open to uh, long distance dating. So long distance. All right. When was your last relationship? Was it your marriage? Yes. Okay, okay last question was your marriage. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? In December of last year. December. Okay. Three flaws you have to work. Wait a minute, Kendra. Back the hell up. Why wasn't he an option? Oh, I was just, he was just a one time thing. Hit it and quit it. Friends with benefits. He was that. Nothing too serious, but I want to find somebody that's, you know, or someone to find somebody that's going to be my man, my man, my man. That's what she about to say. My man. Look at ass. Like, what? <laughs> Let me chill. Work on uh, definitely being more punctual. So I feel like I'm always late to things working on that. Um, I'd say patience. So if I have to ask for something to be done, like multiple times, I'll just go and do it myself. So you're, you need to work on being punctual, meaning you don't care about nobody else's time and you want them to be patient with you, but you need to work on your patience because if you ask somebody several times to do something, you want them to do it then. So you have two conflicting issues. Patience and punctuality. Hmm. Well, damn, ain't that the kettle calling the damn, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? And that, that damn pot is burnt. So... Um, working on patience, and then what would be a third one? Um, maybe listening a little bit better. Listening a little bit better. I didn't challenge you on it, but everybody in the comments are saying people say 100K like it's a minimum wage salary. <laughs> I make like over 250. So I think by saying 100 would be like me being reasonable <laughs> well excuse the fuck out of me then you should be happy then you should have a man that's there that's willing to take you serious so apparently that 100k that 250k ain't worth a damn <laughs> see look i wasn't even gonna i was gonna keep it moving but i'm actually happy i said it so for those that were concerned She's being generous by saying 100K because she made over 250. And I don't like to say a number, Kendra, because I know that like a man could make 150 and be terrible with his money and be living worse than somebody who makes 75. So I'm flexible with the number, but you know, I feel like I'm established. I'm coming healed. I've been to therapy. I have all of my own stuff and I would like for a man to be able to like hold his own when it comes to that. And whoop, 
And boom, <laughs> shout out to all the boss women who are doing extremely well. They call my show and shout out to y'all because now damn Kendra now you know damn well you don't have a whole lot of these type of women calling your damn show most of the time you get baby mamas that's broke stop it stop patting yourself on the back because most of the time it's baby mamas that's calling you that's broke as hell looking for somebody to take care of your ass like you need to stop that bullshit I got all the rich girls on my show <laughs> I got all the rich girls so shout out to all the boss and women child um all right let's keep going Jessica it's funny, you say you have all the rich, the rich girls on there, <laughs> but I've yet to see somebody making over 100K to come on your damn show. <laughs> Called it! <laughs> you don't see nobody making 100K coming on this raggedy ass show of yours. You have your three flaws? Yes. Okay. No, well, actually, I said two. Um, oh, yeah, I did, I did say three. Okay. Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you, sweetheart? A man would be lucky to be with me because I am a loyal, dependable woman. I have traditional values. Um, I feel like I don't really follow zodiacs like that, but I am like a cancer, if you look up what a cancer is. Um, I am an amazing, phenomenal cook, so I know that's important. <laughs> and I'm just very nurturing, catering to my man, and thoughtful and definitely supportive. Okay, let's do it. All right, you, can the guy have kids? Yes. Okay. Okay. But if he has children, um, he, I don't want to deal with any kind of drama with the mom or with the mothers of the children. Okay. And um, what is your age range? What's the age range you would date? I'm 32, so I would say from 32 to like 45. Okay. And let's do it. So we got Jessica, Atlanta, 32, cancer. She works in real estate as a builder's agent. No kids, and you do want kids. I think I heard you say that. I feel like I'm. I would like to have a child of my own, but if it wasn't in the cards for me, like it's not, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, uh, she's divorced, wants to get married again, um, and she'll date thirty-two to forty-five, make at least a hundred k, and have good money management, basically. Yes. All right. How can the guy reach out to you, baby girl? My. Okay, so let me just interject, interject here. The way she's coming off, and I may be reading too far into this, but the way she's coming off is almost like it's a like she's coming to look for a damn employee. And what do I mean by that? I mean, she seems like she's only wanting to find a man that's making 100K or a man that's making just enough with the money management skills. Basically... She's looking for somebody just basically just to be there. Like, her attitude just seems dry as hell. Like, it seems like she doesn't, it seems like she doesn't even understand really what she wants. Well, she wants, she knows what she wants, so I ain't gonna say that shit. But she doesn't understand why she doesn't qualify for what she wants. And that's the biggest problem that a lot of women have. Especially this type. She's very big on... That business type of mind, that business mindset and shit, it's kind of, it's, it's mostly a turn off if you want me to be completely honest about it. But then again, I don't know. Y'all comment down below and uh, we'll discuss this in the conversation. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe to the channel, support the podcast on Spotify.com. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.